Hello everybody and welcome back to the Build the Enterprise D series here on the channel. It's been quite a while hasn't it? It's been about a month since our last update here. I'll kind of explain why as we go through the episode. Um, but basically it's just taken a while for me to get this issue. Um, so yeah, welcome back. We are starting with issue 16 which covers stages 59 through to 62. Now, in this episode, we're just going to do 59 and 60. I'm going to do 61 and 62 in a different video. And I'll, like I say, I'll explain why during the course of this. So this might not be a lengthy video, um, but the next part should come out basically like a week later. So, yeah, let's um, just have a look at this one and see what we're doing. So at stage 59, we've got... A new deck panel, yeah, we're back on the deck panels again. And we've got some additional bits here for the nacelle. And in stage 60, we're going to be having a look at more deck panels as well as finishing off some parts of the nacelle. I won't show you 61 and 62 because that'll be in the next video. So let's just delve straight into it. Stage 59, assemble the first of your ventral saucer panels before closing up the port in a cell to form the unmistakable shape of the Galaxy Class Warp Engine. So, I've got the bag down here beside me. We'll get it open and uh, we'll just get on with it, shall we? Like I say this is going to be quite a short one. I'm going to release the next few videos, two stages each, but they're going to be at a bit of an accelerated scale. Schedule. Now I'll kind of explain why as I'm opening this bag. Basically since um, since the new year I've kind of had a bit of a dishevelled um, return to making videos here. I've missed a couple of weeks. So I recorded a video at the back end of last year, my Dino Crisis video, and that went out like the 3rd of January. Then, that weekend after, I did intend to record, but I fell ill. Now, it's not with the, um, it's not with the COVID, but it was just a bit of a bad cold. I just didn't feel up to recording whatsoever, so I didn't. Um, the week after that, we did record and managed to get a video done. Um, and then the week after that, I was down at my parents'. And then, you know, that, that was, then the last weekend was last weekend. So my recording schedule's been a little bit um, stunted. Also because some of the things that we were expecting to record didn't actually arrive. The uh, Osaka Mari figures took a lot longer to arrive than I expected because I had trouble getting them shipped to me. I had to actually, you know, get a refund from where I initially ordered them in Zavi uh, because they didn't arrive. And then I had to you know, reorder them, because I did really want them. And as with these, issue 16 actually took quite some time to arrive. I got the dispatch notice for early January, and then after 21 days, it hadn't turned up. So I had to contact Eagle Moss to say it hadn't turned up. They arranged to get a replacement sent out. Now the replacement was actually going to come with issue 18, because uh, of the way they send things out. But fortunately, um, the day after I had arranged for a new one to be sent out, this one turned up, thankfully. Otherwise, it could actually have been even longer a wait between these episodes. So, yeah, because of like the nature of it at the moment, and because I'm going down to visit my parents next weekend, I'm going to do these like two stages at a time, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um... So just a quick update on the model itself. Before Christmas, we got the source, the top half of the saucer section done. We also did quite a bit of work on the warp nacelle, which as you can see here, I've already kind of taken a bit of an extra step and connected the two parts together. Uh, what, something I did do earlier this week was I had a look at this nacelle and I fixed it up a little bit because there were some parts that weren't sitting right. Uh, it was my mistake uh, entirely, um, as a lot of these things are, you know, human error. Um, but yeah, that's all fixed now and that's ready for this issue. I know for a fact we're going to be having a look at that in this one. So, like I say, what we're doing here, we're assembling the first of the ventral saucer panels and closing up the port in the cell. So, we've got deck panel um, L106, 59A. And we're just going to pop it down like that. 
Um, another thing as well, I should probably mention, if anything seems off with this episode, which I don't think it will, um, I'm actually recording this fairly late on in the evening. Um, just being weirdly busy and hectic uh, the past month, and a, you know, January was quite weird, um, as you, you know, I could probably alluded to there. But um, hopefully we'll get back on track. So we've got here, take the deck panel position to four deflector array panes in the arrangement shown. The longer lip of each pane should be closest to the wide end. Okay, so just for anyone watching this, um, you'll see, I don't know if it really shows up there. Um, let's, yeah, actually, let's get that one on. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but... This end here is shorter than that end, so the long tip is facing towards the wider end, which is, well, let me get the tweezers and pop that in, but that goes in like that. And that's the same for all of them. So, you know, just, I guess, be mindful of that. It, it, it is one of those cases, I think, where sometimes people might jump the gun and maybe read the instructions a bit too... Like, not read the instructions and just go, ah, oh, well, this is how it goes. Obviously, not the case. So, my advice, always read the instructions before you rush ahead with things. It's something I'm very guilty of myself, is not necessarily taking that time to pause a little bit. So there we go, they're in. So what we're going to do now, cover the four panes with the reflector panel, which is this here, and then secure it down with the um, Allen screws. So we want to put that there like that. Oh. What we actually want to do there is we want to knock um, one of them out immediately. Ah, there we go. That's probably better for it. So let's just get the screws prepped, shall we? So, how is everyone? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year? How has your January been? How's 2022 treated you so far? Um, you know, I always find January... I always find January to be a tough month. It's a long, long month. Um, you've got that big lull, haven't you, after after Christmas and New Year, and it's, it's especially worse for me, because you've got like quite a few celebrations going on, yeah, I've got Christmas, I had my birthday, I had uh, New Year, which, you know, I had a really good Christmas and New Year, because I got, got, went to go down and see my family quite a bit, and saw quite a few of my friends, and, you know, it made up for what happened at the end of 2020, um, so yeah, that was really, really nice to just have those opportunities. I think we're going to need a small screwdriver for this one. So, yeah, I'm um, just going to pop these screws in. Um, so, yeah, it was nice just to have that opportunity to go down and see family and friends again and just enjoy that. We played some board games. We played the Resident Evil 3 board game uh, on my birthday, which is, that was a lot of fun. Um, would definitely recommend it. Uh, what else? Um, I've, I could talk about my Christmas presents as well. Um, as you probably saw, you probably saw one of them on the channel already, that Sonic Eggman robot. Um, I love Sonic 2. It's one of my all-time comfort games. Uh, my partner, she bought me the uh, Sonic 2 giant Eggman robot, which was released as part of the celebrations. Uh, for the 30th anniversary, and there you go, you can see that is done there. Now, give me just a moment. So, a few updates. Let me help a bit. Uh, I've got a, a few other updates. I bought myself a green screen, which you'll have seen in other videos if you check them out. Uh, we also have a lovely desk lamp here, which is not only handy for me working from home, but... Um, I picked up in the latter half of last year uh, Warhammer as a hobby. Uh, painting, not playing, but the lamp definitely helps me in painting. But I'm still a bit of a beginner right now. So I've got my, I'm painting Chaos Space Marines. 
So hi, let's go on the next stage. Align the ventral phaser array along the wide edge of the deck panel and then fix it into place with the two CP screws. Super, super simple stage, this one. Like I say, super simple and short. Um, I had mentioned though, I'm recording this in the evening. Uh, I was gonna record it earlier in the day, but a work colleague of mine was passing through the town and invited us out for coffee and I ended up staying out later than expected, but it was lovely. Uh, I haven't seen them in person for, uh, you know, since we were all sent home from work back in March of 2020. So seeing them in person, it was weird. It was nice to catch up with them, uh, like outside of work and talk about things that aren't work related for a change. But yeah, uh, as always, I invite you all, let me know in the comments how your Christmas and New Year went. All's very keen to know. So we are just putting a screw in here. Um, and I think I, I think I said it enough like last year, but thank you all for sticking with me over the last year while I've been putting this together. It's meant a hell of a lot and I'm looking forward to seeing it grow as this year goes on. I want now. So... Remove the adhesive transporter emitter pads from their backing. Stick them in place on the deck panel recesses as shown. So let's take them out. I'm never a fan of popping these in. These have kind of... Uh, these are hit and miss, these like adhesive pads. I've noticed on the uh, star drive, well, the Cobra head, one of them had a habit of coming off quite a bit. So I ended up just having a like, I ended up using my Warhammer plastic glue to get it down properly. But we've got one in there now. Now what's the next one? Oh, next one sees me getting my fingers stuck there. There, those are both in. So, that's the panel done and ready to go. I'll pop that on top of me. Lovely lamp there that I'm messing about with. Pop the screws to one side. So I have a bit less space on my desk, but it's fine. And let me just set these things to one side. That's the AM screw. A bit of plastic there. So, return to your saucer build and thread the unassigned bulb from the deck light fitted in stage one. We are going back some through the skeleton as shown. Carefully bend the two bulb cables away from each other. So they're splayed, right. I'm gonna have to move this nacelle off for a moment. whilst I pick up the saucer. So this saucer's just kind of sat there for the last month and a bit while I've been desperately waiting for more parts because I've been really eager to just continue this build. This build. I've been really enjoying it. Um, so having a bit of a month where I haven't been able to do so, it's not only like, it's kind of been a bit disappointing because I, I like to do this for the channel, but it's also been disappointing because I just enjoy building it in general. Uh, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for that bloody, there's one loose um, light somewhere. And I know where it is vaguely. That's a navigation light, that's a navigation light, that's a navigation light. Oh. See, now it's all been tidied up and stuff. There it is. We got there eventually. So what do we want? So what we want to do, we want to take it 
and we want to thread it through so it comes around here and then oh right I see how that's gonna fit hmm Okay, let me let's pop this down to one side and let's uh, Okay, so it goes under Under here Let's make sure that goes over like that But then it goes under it goes through here until we get it to this one. Then we're going to get these parts here. Hopefully you can see that. We've got the light there and we're going to get them so that they're splayed at 90 degree angles on either side of the bulb. So this is, I've had a, I did actually, uh, in a break with tradition, <laughs> this is going to sound bad, I actually had a quick look at how this is laid out um, beforehand. So that goes in like that. And that should go in, okay, that should twist like that. That should go under like that. So it's kind of, I see, I see. So we kind of want it to loop around. Yeah, I see now. I want it to loop around this. This is, I actually didn't realize, for some reason I thought this step came a little bit later. Um, okay, so we've got that in there like that and like that. A lot easier said than uh, done with this particular bit. That's always the case, isn't it? When it comes to parts like this. There's so many, like, part of the problem is that the cables become so stiff in a way. I think that's in. Right, so the next step is to just make sure it's secured down. There is. We need to get the AM screw again. So we've got this part here. So we're going to just going to get the screw out of the pouch. Going to prep it in the screwdriver. Easier said than this is one of those really really fiddly bits. Okay, that's in, that is in. So we've got the little light poking out there now. So next up, we can, that's so weird that it wanted me to get the saucer out just for that one bit. Ugh. It feels like that could have been better suited for stage 60, but I guess you're setting it up for something. Okay, so next step, we want to get our warp and the cell back. Flip it round. So this in the cell. Oh god, this was a pain to put together. Um, I wish I could provide some advice on it, really. So one, the one mistake that I kind of made, right, when putting this together, I had this the wrong way around. So that was causing problems with the alignment here. This bulb at the back that was dreadful. Honestly, really, really dreadful. And there's been some tough parts with this build as it is. But that was just like next level. Um, yeah, really, really tough. So what I want to do now, 
Begin by retrieving both parts in the cell build. Push the formation light 59G into the end of the cell as shown. So there's a, there's a flat edge on this. Tell you what we'll do, we'll actually put the light on, on the phone as well. But there's a flat edge on that as well. And I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Picked it back up. Funny funny thing, that happened to me about four times when assembling my Chaos Space Marines when around a friend's place. Um, I just kept dropping the same part over and over again. And it just wasn't my day. So we want to just slot that in like that. So that's in. Then, what we want to do, we want to take our... So is that going to stay in? We want to take our nacelle. And we want to just... Clip it down. Okay. Like that. So there you have it. That's your nacelle. It's all down now, which is cool, that's awesome. Then, I want to take the CP screws, three of them. I've taken out four, of course, why not? Yeah, just in case of any accidents. No, and that's not going in. There. That one went in. Oh, I got the other one. That will go in as well. in two there we go they're all in now so that's our winner cell put together oh okay so that one wasn't in properly Use the other screwdriver, that one's a little bit sturdier. Okay, so that's not going in properly. Just give me a few seconds and we'll jump cut and get that sorted. All right, we're back and we managed to get it sorted. It was a bit weird, it didn't fully um, go down properly, but we've got it on there now. So you can actually see that is the nacelle nearly complete and ready for us to pop batteries in and the battery box on the back. So that is stage 59 complete. So let's move on to stage 60. So stage 60, we're going back to some old friends. We're gonna do another deck panel for the underside of the saucer as well as allowing ourselves to illuminate the port side warp engine nacelle. Now I don't have the um, batteries required for illuminating the cell, but we will stick that in in one of the upcoming videos when I actually go and get them. It requires um, 2032s, which are just not what I keep around in the flat. But this stage should be fairly short as well. Uh, we're going to make another deck panel, we're going to attach it to the saucer as well as attaching the one we've done previously. And then we can wrap up this particular video. It's uh, gonna be quite short, this one. But the next one shouldn't take, shouldn't be out, you know, should only be out like a week later or something. So this is very similar to the previous one. The long tip of each window should be closest to the wide end of the panel. So we've seen these, you know, many times before. So we're just gonna quickly cut to show you this with the panel on the back. 
Right, so we've got all the windows on there and we'll just attach the required panel at the back. So secure the then secure reflector panel L206A on the back using two BP screws. So yeah. And I presume one we're gonna secure it down with the other BP screws once we've got the lights on. So it just goes over like that. And then we get the screws. So I mentioned earlier in the uh, video that I have a green screen now. And um, like we've we used it twice already in the videos. We used it in that Eggman robot uh, video. Also used it in the Oscamari unboxing. Um, but part of the reason I got it isn't just for videos, although it is going to be um, parts of videos going forward. Probably not these ones. These ones I'm going to keep fairly straightforward, you know, just these sort of chill, um, like, builds. Uh, I don't really want these to change too much from what they already are. But what I am very keen to do is maybe, when it comes to demonstrating, the model itself, maybe showing it off using the green screen like that. Uh, I also kind of got it because I am going to be cosplaying. Uh, I'm, I've got Star Trek uniforms this year for conventions, should they be happening, which I would imagine they will be. And I want to take some photos and I want to put myself on the bridge of the Enterprise and stuff like that. So, yeah, just some little things to look forward to. So, what we're going to do now, retrieve the saucer build and plug the deck panel lights into an A socket on the saucer PCB1 before threading the cables through a Sean. Okay, here we go. So, this is going to be a little bit of a, not complicated, but perhaps a little bit fiddly. It'd be even less so if I didn't stand on my mic cable. The mic cable, eh? What's he, what's he up to? Actually, even more of a problem. Um, my microphone is actually hanging precariously off my shirt. I started this video wearing a hoodie because it was quite cold in here. And the more I've been doing, the warmer it's gotten. Which is always the case. Oh, mic cable always causing problems. So... We're going to take this deck panel light and we're going to plug it into an A socket on the PCB1, which is here. It's that one there. And we need to find an A socket. I found one. I think. Oh, they're all A sockets. So I don't really think it matters. I'll just hit my head off the lamp I've got. But let's um, pop that in, shall we? Right, that's in. Right, brilliant. Uh, so what we want to do, it wants to... Come through, so yeah, it wants to go under well, it just said they're into an air socket, but I don't think it really matters which one. Then it wants to come through like here. And then what we want, we want the red and blue one to go under there and come around here. And we want the yellow and black, I forgot the names of colours there, to remain on this side. And that should be fine. So then what we want, we want to put...
that in like that. And this one wants to go in on the other side. Like that. Yep, they're in. Then what we want to do, we want to take our switch screws, is it now? Our BP screws. want to finish screwing that in so let's just see it there like that so we want to secure that in Okay, so the next step, I think this one's going to be a bit fiddly. Now plug deck panel lights to 60H into a B socket on PCB1 before threading the cables as shown. So now we want to find a PCB B slot. I think there's one just here. In fact, yes, there is. So let me just pop that one in like that. So what we're going to want to do, we want to get these cables to one side. There we go, that's in. That is in. Uh, this cable, this mic cable. He's such a problem, isn't he? Mic cable. That joke is going to get really old. Even for me, it's getting old. And then what we're going to do is we are going to thread it through. As shown here. So it's going to go like that. Then it goes over like this. Oh, I see. Then that is going to go in like this. Oh. So that's going to go over that and like that. Hopefully. Yeah, and it's going to go over like that and like that. Then we're going to turn it like that so it clamps onto it a little bit. Then we're going to... Take your deck panel... Oh God. Take your deck panel one L106 assembly from stage 45 and position it on the saucer along with the deck panel you've now just wired up the wide angle of the larger one. Sinking up like that. Okay. So kind of like that. So that keeps popping out like that, so.
so that's done that now. Oh God, this is not the easiest of beans to do. So now where do we put it? I can see kind of where that goes. So that will go kind of on like that and like that. And then it says to kind of tuck and tidy it underneath. Right, what's down? So it says, make sure the bulb casings are tucked under the frame before we do that. So we want to tuck things under the frame first before we actually secure it down. which is easier said than done. But I think we've got there. I think that looks tidy enough. Yeah, I would say that looks pretty good. So we're gonna start just one by one, screwing this into place. So let's start from There. Now it's So while I'm just trying to figure this out, there, I have done it. There we go. So, um, yeah, what else has been happening at the moment? So I'm recording this at first weekend of uh, February. Um, so what has been happening? I'm well, I've been trying to catch up with Star Trek Prodigy, where I can watch it via certain sources. And I'm thinking that's really, really good so far. Um, for a show aimed at a younger audience, I think it's done a good job at capturing a lot of the values of Trek. Um, I haven't seen the final two episodes yet, but I'm excited to see what happens there. Um, what else has been happening? Um, my favourite band, Mar well, one of my favourite bands, Marillion, have released a new song called Murder Machines, which is uh, really, really, really good, and I urge everyone to go check out. They've got a new album coming out later this year called An Hour Before It's Dark, and I'm very, very excited for it. I already kind of anticipate it's going to be my album of the year, um, but it depends on if any of my other favourite artists release anything, or if anything gets knocked off the uh, side, which has just happened. I don't even know what that was. 
Yeah, so we've got two more screws to put in here. And then I will be very, very happy that we've got the first of our underside kind of panels on there. It puts us in good stead going forward. I would say with each one of these like things we do, it makes this whole project just feel so much more real and it just really um, brings it that little bit more to life. Oh, is that going to be a, a problem there? Oh, this might require me to have a quick look at it just off camera. I think what might have happened I'm wrong. Yeah, I know what's happened there. That's easily fixable. Be back in just a second. Okay, yeah, we're all sorted with that now. That's all nice and secure and on the frame. So, took any excess cable in a scale and flipped the saucer switch to on to see the lights in both illuminate. Now, I don't actually have the battery pack to hand, I should probably uh, just plug it in. I kind of decided to not um, have it plugged in at all times. Just, um, just for the sake of ease, but let's... Um, yeah, let's go grab it and we'll test that out, shall we? see how it looks it's not actually that far away from me so okay so we've got the battery pack uh, bear with me just a second where's the switch for this thing there it is so we've got the battery pack there let's just plug that in suppose we can kind of keep that plugged in now that we've actually got the switch for it that's sort of the point of it isn't it um, So, let's switch there, let's, uh, might not even be in fully. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can see that it's lit up, and that looks fine. There we go, that's better. So we can see that that's lit up now. Those lights in there are flashing on and off. Well, not flashing, they're static. <laughs> what am I going on about? But you can see, there we go. I'll try and turn that light off, actually. We'll get rid of some of the light in here. Yeah, so there we go. That's the lights on that sorted. So that is the first kind of deck panels on the ship. So let's wrap up with the nacelle and then wrap up with this video for today. So there's not much left to do on the nacelle. Very, very short and sweet. All we really want to do here, I don't have the 2032s to test it, but this is literally just return to the warp and cell, place the two 2032s in there, which I don't have. But then you've got the battery secure on there. We just want to plug that. that plugged in and then there's a screw to cover it I 
like I say, next video we'll try and actually show this off working because I'm quite excited for this, but I need to get the 2032s. But there you go. That is the nacelle. This is the part side nacelle, fully assembled and ready to be attached to the uh, star drive. So that's 59 and 60 done. Thank you all very much for taking the time to watch this. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, check out soon, look out soon for the next part when we cover stages 61 and 62. See you next time. Bye.